Have you guys heard about this big ship that drew a penis using its GPS and then crashed into the Suez Canal? This is a real thing and this is what we're talking about today. Have a quick look at this. This is the ship that crashed. This is the penis that it drew by, by driving in the ocean and this is the article that we're reading. Dick ship, latest, still stuck in the Suez Canal. God, you can't make this up, can you? You really cannot make this up. Wow, what a Johnson. That's a big Johnson. <laughs> Guys, my name is Gareth Walton. We do daily videos on this channel talking about absolutely everything. You can find me on Tallboy Gareth at Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. But of course, we are on YouTube with two different channels. So give us a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Channel one, channel two. Two has the two and one has the one. It is that simple, everybody. Let's take a quick look at this. Uh, we'll show you where the Suez Canal actually is, everybody. So here we go. It's next to Egypt, uh, in between Egypt and Israel. Is that right? There's, there's another country here. What is that one? I don't know. I'm not a geographic legend, okay? I'm a legend, but not a geographic legend. Uh, this is the Suez Canal. Uh, Egypt charges, I've got a very important thing to say. Egypt charges uh, each boat to go past. Uh, big boat, I'm guessing. It charges $700,000 per big boat for it to pass through the Suez Canal. Uh, wow, what an absolute money-making machine this uh, bit of water is. But because the, because the ship is stuck right there, look where, the, look where the ships have to go now. Ships can no longer pass through there. They've got to go all the way around, like 10 days longer, and uh, a lot more money longer just to go to England or something like that. Ships can no longer go through there because this ship is stuck all the way around. And my bird has been really, really noisy. Hey, that's another camera angle. You okay, birds? Hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, let's read a quick article regarding this. This is absolutely unbelievable. So what, approximately 1,900 ships per year go through the Suez Canal, uh, 50 plus every day. That equals to about 12% of the world's uh, shipping trade. Wow, that's a large figure. Uh, about $10 billion worth of trade past the Suez Canal every day. Roughly $10 billion every day pass. And because this ship is now blocking the canal, uh, a lot of rich people aren't very happy right now. So let's get into an article. Uh, Dick Ship, latest, still stuck in the Suez Canal. Uh, uh, the MS Ever, Ever Given, uh, the big ship that couldn't, may end up blocking one of the world's busiest waterways for weeks. There's a tractor, or whatever you want to call it, you know, trying to, trying to get rid of the sand. There's the dick pic it took. Isn't that really, that's a really clever ship, isn't it? A gigantic cargo ship that is wedged diagonally inside uh, Egypt's uh, Suez Canal could take weeks, weeks to dislodge. The 400 meter long MS Ever Given became uh, stuck in the canal on Tuesday during uh, strong winds and has caused a big backlog of ships unable to move through the waterway. Uh, that's the shortest sea link, sea link between Asia and Europe and where up to 12% of annual world trade flows. Uh, a Dutch uh, salvage uh, company contracted to refloat the ship said the Ever Given resembled a beach whale. <laughs> wow. Um, yep, we're talking about a massive ship here, everybody. Just take a look at that. We cannot exclude it may take weeks depending on the situation. Uh, is it Jersey Shore or is it uh, <laughs> the Suez Canal? The situation, oh, I'm just gonna stop now. All right, anyway, uh, it's like an enormous beached whale. My birds have been really frisky. Guys, you have to be quiet in a second, come on. It's like an enormous beached whale uh, on the sand. Its enormous weight is on the sand. We may have to work with a combination of reducing the weight by removing containers, oil, and water from the ship. Uh, so the tugboats, tugboats and, and the dredging of, of the sand can uh, you know, hopefully, ho ho hopefully help the situation, but they may need to take a lot of the weight off, as we just said. Uh, there it is there on a GPS map. Uh, the Suez Canal Authority, authority? has not uh, commented on how long it could take to get the ship going again. Uh, but they did not, did not respond to request. 
blah blah blah. You know what they're like. And the reporter's like, "Hey, can I get a can I get a couple of questions answered?" No, no comment. Uh, the ship's Japanese owner has apologized uh, for the disruption. We sincerely apologize for causing a great deal of concern to the vessels scheduled to sail and their related parties while navigating the Suez Canal due to the accident of this vessel. The group said in a statement, adding that there was no uh, inf information on the crew injuries or oil, oil spill. So that's really, really cool. There's no, uh, yeah, there's no information on crew injuries or oil spills. That's really good. Uh, I think we're just going around in circles talking about other things. Let's just go straight to the actual dick pic because everyone wants to see a dick pic until we've seen it and then it's just like too late and we're like, damn it, why did I look at the dick pic? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. Here is uh, apparently Vice. If I, I think I've got it right. Vice Media may have broke the story regarding the ship drawing a dick in the ocean just before it got stuck. Um, can we find the article? Hang on. There we go. Okay, well, there is a, here's a quick meme of Godzilla and, uh, what was it, King Kong? My goodness. Uh, trying to dislodge the Ever Given ship from the Suez Canal is like trying to move the Empire State Building. So here's a quick comparison. The Empire State Building is, well a little taller, a little longer than the ship. So that just gives you a better idea of what's actually going on. Now I'm trying to find the dick pic. Maybe we should go back and read the actual article a little bit more. Um, while it's not totally clear what, what caused the ship to ground, Ever, Evergreen, the Ever Givens Taiwanese operator said strong winds were to blame. Uh, I had this before on my computer, but I can't find it now. But basically what happened was, uh, yeah, speaking of tugs, the Ever Given has, a, has acquired uh, a cult status online after Vice World News publicized uh, the fact that the ship had, had uh, charted a dick-shaped course uh, immediately before getting wedged in the Suez Canal. So there you go, guys. Uh, I don't know what the captain was thinking. <coughs> Clearly, he's got dick on the, on the brain. Um, <laughs> I don't know, everybody. I don't know. I'm just reading what's here. Uh, you know, sorry, uh, what can I say? <laughs> is, is the captain going to be going to jail for this? Is he, is he going to get a few pats on the back and some beers thrown to him uh, in celebration of his really cool little dick pic? I don't know, but it's going to be a story that we will remember for a long, long time. But no doubt the rich people on earth are going to absolutely hate the situation. And by the way, <clears throat> if you have a parcel coming from Amazon, or eBay or something like that, there is a good chance that your package could be delayed now. I probably should have said that at the start of this, that would have made potentially more people watch it for longer. But hey, what can you do? Uh, there are a lot of ships that are now backed up a lot and, and they can't get through because of this. So who knows, it could be weeks until they move the ship. Anyway, very interesting co uh, conversation and situation. Uh, my name is Gareth Walton. We do daily videos on this channel. Don't, for don't forget guys, you can find me on channel one and channel two and uh yeah all these social medias too if you want to uh, i love you all and i'll see you for tomorrow's video peace guys bye